This is KSN News at 6. For the blind and visually impaired, just getting around town can be a challenge. But it's one that's proving to be a bit easier with some help from some four-legged friends. KSN's Aileen Zimborio has more. It's new at 6. He is my world. It's evident when you look at them. The love between man and man's best friend. He has changed my life tremendously. You see, Orso isn't just Andrew Crane's companion. Give me five. The black lab is also his pair of eyes, since the 23-year-old was born with only one. I was, like, devastated. I felt like I was in a nightmare. His mother still remembers when the doctor came in and told her the news. That right there just blew me away. And that isn't Andrew's only challenge. He also has developed mental delays and cerebral palsy in his legs, making it difficult for him to walk. We called him our professional faller because he he fell and tripped over everything. Even when he started using a cane, Andrew says he would still trip, but it would be one specific fall that would change his life. Andrew was in high school when the fire alarm went off. One of my friends picked me up and said, are you okay? And I said, I don't think so. I made a big decision that day. Andrew decided to get a guide dog, a decision that led him to guiding eyes in New York. In this promotional video, Andrew talks about his experience during the month-long training program there. He says, I just got the keys to my brand new car. And I says, what? Of course, that's what he got. The, what he got, Orzo. As a guide dog, Orzo's number one job is to help his owner. Once that you put the harness on, he is automatically working. So when he's at work, it's best to keep your distance. They really don't like it and stuff when people try to come up and pet him. Doing that, Andrew says, distracts the dog from important work. Orzo, up. work like helping to save Andrew's life. When he first got Orzo, the lab stopped Andrew in its tracks as a car was backing out of a busy parking lot. You know, um, really um, having him with me 24-7 has been nice. Giving Andrew the independence he desired and his parents the peace of mind they needed to know Andrew would be just fine living on his own. He's done way, way beyond what we ever thought. Good boy. Guiding Eyes for the Blind in New York is just one of many guide dog schools across the country. At that particular school, it costs more than $45,000 to breed, raise, and train a guide dog, but those services are free to the blind.